what is going on you guys it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again for my babies my baby loves my aries oh keep it there please baby keep it right there you already know how we like to do it aries you know how we like to do it around this part you know my fat man batman is always in the place always keeping his face on chill Okay, he ain't out here trying to get y'all no thrills. He he gonna he gonna keep a one hundred done with you. Y'all are not how Aries is. They is not here. Just, Aries said, "I'm not here. I'm not here." Okay, for the tomfoolery. Okay, okay, I'm reloading. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for clicking this video. Y'all know I have a special love and a special connection with the Aries. One of my best friends is an Aries, and <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's my brother from another mother so shout out to all my aries i love y'all down boots we're gonna find out the energy surrounding y'all for the month of october y'all know in fall we're gonna have it all in this harvest season okay it's time to collect and to reap the benefits from all of the so all the seeds that we have sown and planted you know during the previous seasons it's time for us to you know bear fruits to you know Enjoy the fruits of our labor. So, you know, shout out to everyone that's been putting positive energy out there in the soil so that it could grow and bring you all your blessings and has learned from your lessons, baby. It is time. It is time to find out what's coming to us this October harvest season. So shout out to everyone. If you want to um, support the page, you can click the like button. If you want to book a personal private reading, you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. And you can also click the about tab. My booking page is there. My Instagram is there. So like I said, um, you guys can book through the booking page if you want. Or you could just simply send me a message on Instagram or in my email which again is scorpionreds at gmail.com um the first way that you can support if these videos resonate for you and you want to support the um the page click the like button and of course share if you care all right um there is also my paypal y'all been seeming to use the cash app more often so i did put a cash app link on the about tab and then of course there's my amazon wish list i want to give a shout out to all my babies for all the love and support i just got this through the amazon wish list i got tarot dice okay so you guys and pisces and I guess the rest of the readings, y'all are going to get a treat with this. Um, and to everyone else who was cross-watching and um, or watched other videos and y'all didn't get the tarot dice in y'all's reading, I'm sorry. I might come back and try to give y'all a bonus with um, using the tarot dice. But um, thank you guys to everyone that has been supporting through the Amazon wish list and through the Cash app. You guys have been amazing. We got some new decks as well. We're not going to use these today. Um, I will use these in the mid-month reading. We got the Santa Morte um, Book of the Dead deck. I know this deck looks scary. It looks kind of creepy, you guys. But what I'm trying to tell you, this deck has become one of my favorite decks because, of course, I'm a Scorpio. This deck helps you through transitions. If you're going through something and you're about to close one chapter and go into another chapter... This basically has been confirming to me that everything that I've been doing is right and I'm on the right page. It's been telling me that, you know, as long as your will, if you have a will, you have a way. You know what I'm saying? As long as your heart is pure and you're doing everything with pure intentions, everything that you have manifested and you are trying to bring to your life, it is coming into fruition, honey. And I've been getting the harvest card. Like, I'm trying to tell you, this deck is beautiful beautiful and you gotta sometimes you gotta go through the darkness to get to the light so shout out to everyone who has been giving love through the cash app y'all made it possible for me to get these decks and i'm trying to tell y'all i can't wait till i do these readings for y'all with this deck i'm I, i'm serious it got some amazing beautiful artwork on here and it's confirming and reassuring that we're on the right page we also got the moonology tarot deck all right. Thank you guys for all the support and us getting that. And then we also got here the good old crystal unicorn deck. You already know we look Power Ranger unicorn puss out here. Y'all already know. All my OGs, you already know that's what we scream. Okay, that's what we scream. We out here some pink Power Rangers, some unicorns. We're rare unicorns, honey. Yes. 
some collectors is in the building. You hear me? So, again, thank you to everyone for all of the love and the support. We're going to always do a prayer over the energy before we get into the reading. So, let's give God thanks first off. So, all right, bow your head with me. Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aries. Father God, we thank you so much for this transition in this phase in our life. I'm trying to tell you, we have learned so much. Um, I, I'm, I'm just heard we are upstaging the competitors. Like I really like y'all are um, doing good work, Aries, and y'all are very confident. Y'all just told me y'all are upstaging your competitors. Like y'all are putting a lot of positive energy into what you're doing and like a lot of blessings are coming to you and you just like looking at yourself in the mirror liking what you see and I feel like that's more important than any amount of money or any type of acknowledgement or, or accolades or something it's about that feeling of self or self accomplishment and you guys know that you're doing good work because of the blessings and the doors that are opening around you. Like I told you, it's harvest season. It's harvest season for a reason, baby. Nothing worth having comes without hard work. God never said it was going to be easy. But, baby, <laughs> honey, I told you in fall we're going to have it. Oh, God, thank you so much for these blessings. Thank you so much for the lessons, you know, because... There's no growth without lessons, you know. And one of the most beautiful flowers, which is the rose. Oh, baby, you got to watch out for them thorns. You got to watch out for them thorns, honey. As beautiful as it is, oh, it got some sharp edges to it. And listen, if that ain't an Aries, beautiful, but with tax that ass if needed, okay? So listen, and for everyone that's new to my page, yes, I cuss and pray. God know me. God know me. He know the OG me. He know me. All right. <laughs> so listen. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being brave and um, being a trendsetter. Y'all are a trendsetter. And um, I want you to continue manifesting and showing the world that I could do whatever I want to do. And I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Y'all know this. Y'all know how Aries is. Anyway, listen, Father God, thank you so much. Give us guidance for my Aries. <laughs> Y'all know y'all gonna be so cocky ass motherfuckers, boy. Anyway, I love y'all. So let's get into this energy. Mama God, give me some guidance for my Aries. Let's find out what's going on with this moon cycle, with this moon phase. What type of moonology energy is going on surrounding my Aries at this moment? Thank you so much, Father. Give me guidance. How is the moon? Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot, y'all. I got to take it, though. It says, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Do I need to take this, too? What is this? Conclusions are within reach. It says, you are good enough. And conclusions are within reach. All right? Y'all are good enough for that position. Y'all are, are suited and well Y'all are suited and booted. Come on now. It says emotions are running high. Super moon. That's anxiety. Like y'all, I feel like y'all are going for a position in a job or something. And you're, I feel like there's some nervous energy. It says, what do you need to release and meditate and contemplate? The wanting moon and new moon in Pisces. Okay, so... There's definitely something going on in y'all's life. I feel like y'all are waiting for the results or something. But y'all have been working hard towards it. And it's like, I feel like maybe before, people just didn't see it for you in this situation. And it's something about your past and just certain things, how people view you. You know, and you're going for a different position in life. You're going for a different role, a different level of, I'm hearing seniority or um, not seniority, but authority. Like you're, you're going for a new position of a, a hierarchy. You're going for that top spot. And it's like, in the past, you guys, you know, like I said, y'all transcept setters, but y'all could be troublemakers too. <laughs> Oh, but it'd be some good trouble. Oh, don't we be getting into some good... 
<laughs> Listen, they don't even understand us. They don't understand how we play, man. They don't understand. And um, it's like, don't judge me on my past. Like, I've grown up. I'm qualified, and I'm suited and booted. I'm suited for this position. I feel like y'all are dressing the part. Even though y'all don't have the position and the title right now, y'all are coming to work every day. Like, you're, like you know, y'all are keeping yourself in a high place, you know, on a high level. With a certain level of, like, you have you have a certain level of seniority over other people where it's, like, benefiting you. And, like, you have, you have the right to walk around the way that you do because you've been doing whatever this is for a long time. But you just have not been, you have not been being paid for the work that you've been doing on that level. You have not been given the title on that level. And it's like, you know what? Fuck all that. Y'all not going to keep shortchanging me. I am good enough for the position. You know what I'm saying? I'm good enough for the position and I'm not going to keep. It's like this This person is like an understudy. It's like they keep training other people for the position. That they, And it's like if I'm training motherfuckers to do the job. Why y'all don't just give me the job? Like what? You know? So like and I really do feel like. In some situations, Aries, if, if whoever this was that was not seeing their worth, that was not seeing their worth, I feel like Aries with right there with this full moon eclipse right next to the super moon. Baby, this is a lot of serious energy. Y'all might put y'all bidding out there like you don't want me. I bet you I know somebody that do. And y'all are having anxiety right now. But listen, conclusions are within reach. Y'all put your feelings out there. And now you're nervous because it's like you always put your energy into this one company or this one situation. And now you reaching out trying to see if someone else would pick up on your energy, pick up on your quality and know that you're worth it. Baby, just because one, just because one, what, what, yesterday's trash is someone else's treasure. You understand what I'm saying? So just because... Someone else viewed you as, man, Aries ain't, Aries ain't, you know, whoop, 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 because this, this, and that, and blah, 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 whoop, whoop, whoop. You don't see my gifts. I bet you there's other people who do. And it's like your emotions is running high. And before you get selected for this position, because you are, you need to figure out what, what it is that you need to release that you were doing in the past that was kind of getting in the way. It's like... These people that you've been working with or you've been dealing with, they're like, yeah, Aries is qualified for this, for this position, but their attitude sometimes sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people feel like your seniority and everything is important to you. And sometimes that you could possibly have, um, like, maybe you can talk down on other people. You kind of, like, throw it in their face. Like, like I said, y'all could have patience. Spirit is trying to tell you to have patience. Have patience. So it's like you guys. I feel like in a position at work or something. Like y'all trained your supervisor. And it's like how, like how did. Like I said. Stop having me train people. That you got working over top of me. If I am training them to do your their job. Why don't you just give me the job? Why? Because I had a mistake in the past. And my attitude. Because I did one stupid thing. Y'all are trying to make me feel like I'm not good enough for the position. But you got me training my supervisor. That makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense to Aries. And they're not even going to continue to do it. Because if you don't know that I'm good enough. I, there are other people that listen. They don't know what happened in the past. I'm going to go in there suited and boot. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all are walking around. Dressed apart every day. Dressed apart every day. Every day. Like once I'm faking it till you making it. But it's like you're not faking it because you do this shit every day. You're just not getting paid for it. You just don't have a title. You just don't have a recognition for it. And you're going to get it. You go, I t Didn't I tell you it's goddamn harvest season? It's harvest season. This says patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Honey, whistle while you twerk. Hey, do 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 do. Hey, go ahead and start it. Make the pussy ball and whistle while you twerk. Twerk something. Okay? <laughs> whistle while you twerk, baby. 
can whistle while you twerk. <laughs> hey, fall, but y'all gonna stop playing with me so damn day, Tonita. Listen, let's figure out why we whistling while we twerking, okay? Whistle while you twerk. Man, I miss the yin yang twins. Y'all miss the yin yang twins. Yin yang and a thang. Yin yang, yin yang and a thang. Yin yang. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, y'all gonna make me turn that song on. Yin yang used to do the dad thing, boy. Oh my gosh, boy. Lord have mercy. Okay, Father God, give me guidance. Give me guidance. In regards to this patience, you're good enough. Look, Ten of Cups. Twerk something. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Father. Come on. Give us guidance for my Aries. Keep it there, please. Ooh. Aries said, oh, I will not continue to compete and have it up with y'all. I compete with nothing and no one. Okay? Nothing and no one. I'm not going to keep getting in verbal. Because it's like, y'all have been fighting for this position. Y'all been fighting for this recognition. And I'm not fighting anymore. It's a waste of my energy. It's a waste of my time. Why do that when I could just leave you and go get the success and the recognition and the acknowledgement from people that are willing to pay me for my worth? If you don't see my worth, someone else will. Why am I going to continue competing and arguing and dealing with y'all? It's like these are people that keep bringing up some bullshit that happened a couple of years ago and trying to use that as a reason why they're not going to give you respect. Fuck you. Fuck you and this job. I'll take my pretty ass and my passionate ideas and all of this good. Because you know what? It's something that Aries is real serious about. They put their passion and everything into it. Look, lovers in reverse. They fell out of love with this situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, Whatever this is, that this is, I'm, I'm picking up career, but this could be a relationship too. You know what I'm saying? It's like they fell out of love with it. They used to be passionate about it. You know, they used to think that this was the begin all in all. Like this is what I came here to do, to work at this company and to start from the bottom and work my way up. Like that's what Aries has been doing. And you're damn good at what you're doing, but... I don't love these motherfuckers because they don't love me. And you're not going to keep putting me down and keep bringing up shit from years ago. When I'm showing you that I'm changed. I'm showing you what I can do. And you still keep, you want to live in the past. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be around people that's going to continuously put me down and not trying to let me, you ain't like, you're not trying to let me live. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to let me live past my mistakes. And you know what? I'm starting to realize these motherfuckers don't, they don't fuck with me the way I fuck with them. So, you know what I'm saying? Let me use that same energy, you know? And the same thing, they need to use that same energy because when you put that resignation notice in, it don't matter if this is a job or a love situation. Aries is telling these motherfuckers, you ain't fuck with me then. Don't fuck with me when I'm on my way up. Keep that same energy. You don't love me, bitch. I don't love you neither. Three of Pentacles. Didn't I tell you this has something to do with work? I told you this has something to do with a work situation. Y'all are being taken under the wing of, like, y'all are on an apprentice status right now. Someone else has taken a liking to your ability and how hard working you are and your passion and your drive. And they're teaching you new skills that you could put on your resume, you know. So it's like not only were you coming well equipped and well able, knowing that you are good enough for this new position. Yeah, these new people, they think that you're good enough. Not only are you good enough to do the work of the uh, position that you applied for, but they're like, oh, Aries already know how to do this shit. Let me show you how to do shit on the next level. So damn Aries, like you left that position just trying to get recognition for something that you were already doing and you go somewhere else and they put you two steps up. Look, you were just trying to go, what, look, that, that flame keep going out. That flame keep going out. Like, listen, the thrill is gone. The thrill is gone away. I'm not going to keep sitting up there arguing with y'all. Y'all not about to listen. Okay. Blocked, blocked, and blocked. Blocks, blocks, and blizzards. Say it with me again. Blocks, blocks, and blizzards. Blizzards. 
Okay? Because, <laughs> so listen, the Queen of Wands, the Tower, and but y'all, if y'all get the, y'all got the fuck. Like, y'all got the fuck. Y'all got the fuck. Hey, we are reloading. Load up the gat, nigga. Bus fire. Bow. 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 You understand what I'm saying? When I am trying to tell you, as soon as you get this new position, listen, this is someone offering you a new position, a partnership like y'all have. Y'all are getting, y'all are accepting this new role at this new job. You know, I'm, I feel like some of you guys do like construction because um, I feel like you guys are looking like at a, what is, what is a blueprint or something like that, you know? Or you, just, I mean, y'all looking at the blueprint or something like this person is teaching you how to master the art of blueprinting. I don't know if you guys are architects or something like maybe you guys were just on a construction level where y'all were building things, but you have great ideas about new structure, like your idea, <laughs> Your idea patterns, like you have so many, like I'm, I'm serious. Like whatever is going on, Aries is very passionate about whatever this is that they're doing, and I don't know what y'all said in this interview. I don't know what the hell y'all said in this interview, but it got this person's head, like the wheels in their head turning. It's like you know what. I could focus on me going to the next level. This young, this young person right here, it's like you or someone else that they want to be your partner or something like that. They're putting you up on some shit. So them like doing the blueprinting and shit like that. Number one, you already know how to build. You have all of these wonderful ideas. So it's like, let me teach Aries and whoever this other person is how to do this blueprinting. And that way Aries can... You know, do the mathematics, the architect, whatever, the, the, this little design. They want to see what you're going to come up with. You know what I'm saying? They want to see what you're going to come up with. And they're teaching you their job so they can focus on them. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is someone, it's like, we all about to come up together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, they see the light in you. Do you get me? Like, they're like, this is what I was looking for. This is the passion that I need. This is the drive that I need. Oh, as soon, and I mean as soon, honey, as you get this information that these people, not only are you getting the position that you applied for, but this person within six months is already planning on giving you a promotion to the next role. Like, nigga, you becoming an architect. Like, you ain't even, even think about being an architect. Like, you used to talk about this shit at this old job because you just wanted them to listen to your ideas and everything. But they're like, man, you, you a fuck up your ass curved off on somebody last year and this, this, and that, and that, they, listen, when I say blocked, blocked, I don't even think you about to give these motherfuckers no two weeks notice. You about to be like, oh, I could start right now. You want me to start right now? And bitch, when you do that shit, <laughs> they gonna be like, you don't need to talk to your old job and give them two weeks notice. No, we can start right now. So they're like, oh, for real? Well, actually, let me walk you around the office. Let me walk you around the site. I'm going to um, introduce you. And just right off the bat at this interview, they start walking you around and showing you everything, introducing you to everybody like you already worked there, like it's your first day at work. And the people like, oh, only thing we need you to do is to come back later on. So, you know, to get your social security card. Aries like, oh, I, I got my social security card in my fucking pocket. They're like, you got everything? All right, let's go ahead and HR. Boom. <laughs> like, what? What? Oh, baby. This is like. You were supposed to show up at your main job the next day. You ain't even show up to your main job. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, hold on. Fat man, fat man. Show up. Look, look, look. Kill him with the shoulders. Boom. Kill him with the shoulders. Boom. Kill him with the shoulders. Listen, Batman, Batman was like, oh, they thought I was playing with them. That part. Me no converse with the figs. That part. All my bitches, independent bitches. That part. I just want the paper. That part. 
all my homies flavor. Oh, that part, that part, that part, that part. Hey. <laughs> That part. I'm trying to tell y'all, these motherfuckers gonna be trying to call Aries and be like, are y'all coming? Are you coming in? Are you coming in? Blocked. Look, you just keep sending the motherfucker call. HR <laughs> <laughs> at, at your old job. Well, yeah, at your old job. Correct it. At your old job, it's like calling you, trying to see if you want to come into work and all this shit. You just psh, voicemail, psh, voicemail, psh, voicemail, psh, voicemail. And you just getting in these angry voicemails like they're talking like they about to fire you. Like, and you like laughing at these motherfuckers like, oh, nigga, I fired you. <laughs> and listen, don't be surprised. Do not let it be surprised if um, you see with this queen of wands ain't this queen of wands don't don't be surprised if um aries come out the bag on your ass okay so these people are sending this message they mad at aries because they did a no call no show and they're leaving threatening messages like oh you know that this is grounds for termination aries pick up this phone like hold on brr, brr. motherfucker what you mean Not, nigga what y'all can suck my listen let me try to <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you, Aries is about to light into their ass and everything that they have ever held in and was bottling in about the, this job, your supervisor, the people there. You are about to be in rare fucking form. Oh, they was always bringing up that old ass shit about your attitude and they ain't want to give you the position because of how you cussed out the other the, uh, supervisor and whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay? Like, you really going to give them a reason. You really going to show them a cuss out now. Because you ain't got to ever worry about that. Can they get in the way of you finding a new job? You already got a new job, so they ain't. Listen, you don't even know where I'm working at to put in a bad word for me. You don't have nothing. You cannot do Nothing, Nathan, Nathaniel, Nansford, nada, nothing. So let me go ahead and cuss your ass out and tell you how you could suck every part of the deepest crevice of my asshole. That part, okay? And get the and get the fuck off my phone and do not message me again. Run me my check, bitch. Run me my respect, bitch. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Listen, Tower in reverse. Aries avoided. To continue to enable these people to disrespect them, to underpay them, all of that shit. They, they, they I'm not gonna keep arguing with you. Listen, they told them, they told you that right there with the seven of wands. I'm not gonna compete. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna keep being talked down. I don't wanna hear about no rumors. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I avoided all of this shit with you. I avoided have ever having to come and step foot in this motherfucker office ever the fuck again. That part. <laughs> Seven of motherfucker swords. Again. That part. Okay? Okay? So at the end of the day, y'all will not steal my time. Y'all will not steal my pay. Listen, y'all will not play with me. Okay, this is someone that is outsmarting the competitor and is sneaking out of a situation. Like I told you, avoid it. Listen, sneak out. And they don't give a fuck if they get caught. You, I don't give a fuck if you see me, bitch. I hope you see me. I hope you see me. The fuck? The fuck? Let me take some of these pencil sharpeners and all this shit. My, uh, okay. Let me steal this Kirk machine. Let me steal me a keyboard. I don't see if you, I don't give a fuck if you see me walking out of this office with this shit. Suck my ass. Who gonna check me, boo? Run up and get done up. <laughs> like, Aries is like on some real fucked up ass shit. <laughs> oh, the God. They are finally in a situation where they're being loved, where they're being nurtured, where they're being respected. Like, they went back to the softer side of life where they're being nurtured and growing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the same energy that they're putting into this um, emotional situation with this job or relationship, whatever it is, um, these people are putting the same thing into them. They And it kind of feel like this might have been some shit from, like, a past life. Like, it's like... It's kind of like a deja vu feeling you being in this new environment. It's like, why do I feel like I've been here before? Why do I feel like 
I've done this before, but you haven't. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is like something that it was like destined for you to do. You know what I'm saying? And you love it and they love you. Like, you avoid it. Because it's like, I really do feel like because these people were always putting you down and always bringing up old shit that, that you did a long time ago. That's the six. You know what I'm saying? Someone is not letting go of the past. You know what I'm saying? They avoided and got away from people that was not letting them live past their past. You know what I'm saying? And they actually ended up doing something that seems something more fitted to them like something that they thrived in in a past life and um they're so glad that they were patient and took that risk and took that risk super moon i told you it was a lot of energy it was a lot of like major energy coming over here off of this aries look the three i did not tell y'all I'm telling y'all, this is a work situation, y'all. And, and for the people that have whatever going on with love, y'all can, you know, use this situation and, 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 you know, take it how you need to take it in regards to a love situation. But this is, again, this is, you know, this is the Three of Wands. So this, again, is a movement card. A movement card. This is stained glass. This is stained glass. Like this is like I want. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying not to say biblical, but I want to say it was like it was written in the books already. I really do feel like this is something that you thrived at in a past life. I feel like this is a gift that's being passed down from your ancestry, like your grandfather. If y'all had like a grandfather, someone who passed down. I feel like this person did welding. This person did architect like this person um did stained glassing and something like that for a church or something like your 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 ancestors helped build a city or something like that and you guys are being passed down this knowledge and you're very good at something that you didn't even know that you had an ability to doing because you were being passed down you know what i'm saying you're being passed down and you were being taught from spirit how to do like you're learning your gifts you know what i'm saying and I, i'm taking this as like the way that you're able to move like this is because this has something to do on a spiritual realm on a spiritual level that um you don't even understand yet did you want to tell me anything else this is the five of spades. This is the five of spades right here. And I'm putting this back because I don't think they got anything else to say. This is someone being cut out. I told, didn't I tell y'all y'all was coming at y'all old people off of some dark night ass shit? Like you are, what I'm trying to tell you, you are smacking these people down. Like you are every little piece of of any type of negative thing that you've ever thought I had to say and that, that builds up resentment and shit. When you cut these people out of your life, you are cutting them down and you like you might even leave like a scathing ass note and post it up in the <laughs> in the lunchroom or some shit. Like and everything like I'm trying like y'all about to be petty fucking rupskins. Not Teddy Rupskins. Y'all remember Teddy Rupskins and shit like that, the little talking bear? Y'all petty rupskins. Petty fucking rub skins <laughs> petty rub skins y'all let's clarify this y'all let's clarify this because y'all <laughs> excuse me because y'all know i'm still getting over cold y'all y'all niggas funny and shit petty motherfucking rub skins young y'all is hilarious the three of clubs practical development and business and social matters expanding opportunities growth and advancement the use of common sense and good judgment i told y'all 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 just stop fighting um developing a business enterprise a three-way deal or partnership a business co collaboration with three or more people i told y'all um a clover leaf, good luck and fortune in fortunate circumstances, something growing, plants, hair, nails, an increase in understanding or expanding one's knowledge based on learning new things. It could represent both formal training and self -edif edification. I'm trying to tell you guys, you guys are being taught by your supervisor and then just spiritually you're being gifted down by your... I, listen, y'all don't have to believe me. Y'all, listen, y'all don't have to believe me, baby. I, I tell you no lie. Let me tell y'all how y'all about to cut these... <laughs> Aries, Q, 
keep it there, please. <laughs> Lord help me, you say it's traditionally a card of anger and loss from an oldest symbolic meaning of a hand holding a knife. <laughs> Everybody that stabbed you in your back, honey, you about to give them a pep smack. It says the five of space can denote cutting someone, okay? Or cutting someone out of your life. It can also denote a surgical procedure, a divorce, quitting, leaving, or going at it alone. Lost fear or abandonment, loneliness, depression, separation accompanied by pain, grief, sorrow, and tears. The left hand, the left handed, the left path. Baby, you are going to leave these people feeling a bit because it's like y'all are not giving these people no notice about it. Y'all just completely abandoned ship. Like, y'all are hilarious. Like, whatever you about to say to these people, y'all about to be so mean with this queen of wands in reverse. Oh, my God. Like, I, why? I just heard Becky. Like, there's some person named Rebecca at y'all job that y'all cannot stand. This stuck-up-ass bitch, Rebecca. Whatever the fuck. It's the receptionist. Bro, y'all are about to light into her fucking ass. Y'all just told me this bitch stink. Oh, my God. Y'all just told me that when this bitch be on her cycle, you can always tell when this bitch is on her cycle because this bitch stink. Like, y'all are going to go the fuck in. Uh, ham, eggs, and bacon. No faking. Y'all about to have it up on these niggas. <laughs> Overcoming difficulties, didn't I tell y'all? Y'all are not playing the Aries. I'm not fucking with y'all. It says the worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. Do y'all spread y'all wings like a motherfucker? Take care now. Bye bye then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bumble B2 now. Okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right under the deck is patience again. Listen, y'all will be patient again. Patience. It says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. We're going to put this right here. But, oh, and right under that baby, it says remember who you are, Aries. Goddamn, keep it there, please. But listen, you listen, you going to remind these motherfuckers of who the fuck you are. Yeah, you talk about yeah, how I was cussing motherfuckers out. Yeah, you going to remember. You going to remember. Okay? I'm gonna be gone to November. I'm gonna be gone to November. <laughs> y'all are a fucking animal, y'all. I swear to God, y'all. When people piss Aries off, it is a sight to see. Oh my God, and you just better be happy that you are not on the receiving end of the Aries being pissed off. It says you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Listen, everything that you've been doing to change and better yourself, God see that shit. God see that shit. Remember who you are, Aries. <laughs> and you're about to remind them of the good, the bad, and the ugly, bitch. Clara's sentence, okay? Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Clara's sentence, so Pay attention to your energy. You understand? And that's what y'all did. And that's why y'all avoided this disaster. Because these people were pushing you to bring the worst out of you. And you said, I've come too far in my growth and my development within myself to allow these people to continue to put me down. And make me feel like I'm not worthy of this role that I'm already doing and not getting paid for. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham. Aries said, I did not come here to play. I came here to sway. The hangman in reverse, they got their ass. Listen, okay? Aries surrendered their self to change, okay? God put them in a predicament where God said, you know what? Be patient. I just need you to, they, they willingly kind of step back and stop fighting because that's what God was trying to tell Aries to do. I need you to get up on this hangman gallows and I need you to just sit back and just watch and be listen. Don't believe me just watch. Don't believe me just watch. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. Okay. Alright. I am re-fucking-loading. Load up the gap. God put you in a position and asked you if do you trust me do you trust me 
And I know it's going to sound crazy me asking you to just surrender your will to me. But I want you to see something from a different angle. I just want you to be patient and peace be still. God talked to Aries and Aries just quieted down and was patient. And God put you in a position and, and, and hung you up so that you can see clearly that these people are never going to respect you and give you what you deserve. Aries willingly surrendered their self to spirit so that they could see what they needed to see so they can make better decisions, you know. And by them trusting God that God was going to show them the way. What does this say right here? Conclusions are within reach. Aries had to do that so that they could come to their conclusion about the situation that they are better than this. It doesn't matter how long I've been here. It doesn't matter about my seniority. Yeah, I've been working here with y'all for years and shit like that, but fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? And now God showed them what they needed to see, and now they are being who they need to be, and they got to fuck down. They unhinged themselves from a lose-lose situation, honey. And don't it look like he's standing up straight? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, girl. <laughs> it is your world. If the fuck is your world, honey, it's your world now. Oh, hunty. Hunty bunches of oats. <laughs> honey, I feel like that might be. Ooh. What is this? Is this the, the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You had to see things from a different angle to see that. I got to take things in my own hands and I got to trust what spirit is doing because at the end of the day, um, no one can control this wheel of fortune and it never stops turning. You know what I'm saying? Can no one stop my blessings? But at this angle where I'm seeing things, if I don't hop down and stop feeding myself to the beast of people that don't love me, don't respect me, I'm going to continue to have pain and misfortune here. You know what I'm saying? That's that five. That's why y'all cut yourself out of the equation. Because you got tired of being on the wrong end of the stick. Do you understand what I'm saying? If they don't respect you, I respect myself. And if I want change, I got to get in front of it. I got to get in front of it. Not fall behind. Not fall to the wayside. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, this is finally, you know, after a long journey... You know, I y'all, this wheel of fortune is showing me it's going to get worse before it gets better. Do you understand? So to me, um, I'm hearing that you might have to work like a couple of weeks in a hole or something. And I'm trying to tell you because the way that you rolled out of this job, like they might not try to give you your check or something. They're going to play with you. They're going to play with you. You're going to have to struggle for like maybe five weeks or something like that. Because I feel like when you left, it was like right in the middle of a pay cycle or something like that. I feel like you're going to have to go like maybe five weeks or so. Um, you're going to have to go a couple of weeks or so without money. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be a little bit unfortunate. You know, this is the number 10. Y'all like y'all going to have to go like. For some reason, these people are going, and I think maybe, I, I'm, I'm honestly feeling like y'all tried to take something, like y'all took some equipment. Y'all did something. They're going to say that you did something, that you stole something, that you did something. I think you might have, you might did. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to try to take that shit out of your check and like your last check they're trying to not give it to you so you're going to miss out on them two weeks and you're going to have to work three weeks in the hole so i feel like you're going to have to kind of eat it a little bit but baby do you know that your like your pay scale went up by two do you understand like this is someone that just got in the role if you like the pay range it's like y'all going to be at minimum at that 60k to like 150k range it's like you starting off as an as an apprentice as an apprentice making about 60k a year but like i'm trying to tell you your supervisor at this new job already has plans for you to take their position because they're going to a new position so you're going to start off already making like i swear for god i swear for everything in my life y'all are about to be like just if you got to suffer for a minute, 
it's only going to be for about five weeks. It's only going to be for a minute. Y'all just reach that. Be patient. Do not. Listen, do not allow the fact that y'all are struggling and find someone that will give you a loan or something. Trust me, you will be able to pay it back and then some. You're going to be eating dim sum, baby. You're going to be eating the final, the, 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 the fancy shit. No more motherfucking ramen noodles. And go, you, uh, you get me? Go to work every day feeling amazing. Because the thing is, is like if you can feel rich without when you get it, Baby, I swear, I swear, I swear, just go through these, go, go through these five weeks, um, without this financing or whatever the fuck they gonna do, just smile in their face and be like, y'all think y'all are hurting me, you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself, cause at the end of the day, you gonna have to find, I was the trainer that trained the people that were in the high ranking positions, that you wanna try, so now you gonna have to replace them, like, y'all are fucked over, so like, you're not hurting me. You see what I'm saying? Let's figure out what's going on in love. It says time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay? Okay? In regards to matters of love, um, I feel like it's someone that y'all are interested in. And you know that you're good enough for this position to be with this person. But just be patient. Because you are good enough. But like you said, you're not you're not gonna be fighting, arguing. You ain't gonna be listening to nobody. Oh, but I heard that you used to fuck with Gina, and I heard that yeah, when y'all was together, you cheated on her. Don't nobody give a fuck about what I did, bitch. You still you judging me from some shit I did fucking seven years ago? Are we really talking about bitch? Go on somewhere, go somewhere, cause I don't, I don't, I'm I'm good. You understand what I'm saying? And like Aries is like, man, I'm not even gonna keep trying to try too hard. I'm just going to give it time. I'm going to be patient in regards to love. Because God see my growth. You see that tree? God see my growth. God is looking at everything that I'm doing and every change that I've made in my life. God has been re rewarding me with it. Only thing he's telling me to be patient and continue to nurture the growth. Like this said here. It says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize it. Still, they need nurturing. Don't let what these people are saying, these people are doing, get in the way. You continue to go on your path doing what you're doing. Don't let them see you have to ask for nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Especially in this love. So it's not even worth your energy, baby. It's not worth your energy. It says, look deep within your heart. You will see and feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay? And this is a male. This is male energy. This is Aries. You know? So it's like whoever this person is that is bringing up shit from yesteryears and ain't trying to let you live past your past and everything like that. Remember who you are, Aries. You are a powerful, loving, and a creative child of God. You are loved. Everything's going to happen in divine timing. You trying to hard. Stop trying to give your energy to someone that's, that won't let you live past your past mistakes, honey. Okay? That's why this hangman is right there. God had to separate you from these people so that you could look at these people exactly for who they are and stop allowing these people to do nothing but bring misfortune into your life. Okay? Don't do it. Don't even do it. Last spread, you guys. Let's get... Let's get... Oh! I said I was going to do the tarot dice. Yes. Let's, um... Get our, our spiritual numbers. Numerology deck. Okay? Put some respect on our name. Moderation. Moderation. So right in the center, you're rooted to your blessings. You see that? You see all that green, that growing, that knowing, that abundance. The baby, I'm trying to tell you. Make sure that you spend your money, this new money that you're about to get. Please, just because you're making all this new money and you never made money like that, as quick as it come, it will go. Don't spend your money before you get it. You see what I'm saying? So that's just like, oh, because you got this new big high paying job, you about to go out there and go buy you a Tesla. You know what I'm saying? Well, your car note, all the money that you get in, oh, you don't went and created enough like <laughs> debt to income ratio where, you know, like, don't do that. Still be humble and keep shit where it's at. Like, Keep your life and your lifestyle right where it's at right now. Stack a couple of checks. You know what I'm saying? And get used to this new income before you go creating new bills for yourself. Oh, okay. Karmic completion. Goddamn, Miss Pam. I do like green eggs and ham. 
the 10, the 10, baby, we're in, baby. We're in, come, listen. Ooh, and then patience again. <laughs> Y'all got three patience cards. This right here is a sacral chakra. Baby, can you feel it? Ooh, can you feel it? Hee hee, can you feel it? Ooh, all the children of the West. Aries, y'all just did me. Aries, keep it there, please. I want y'all to pat yourself on the back. Pat yourself on the back. Because y'all just did the fuck out of me, baby. Y'all did me. Y'all did me. Okay? Did me. Okay? So let's see what we got right here with the, with the dice. I'm sorry if it's loud, y'all. Please give me some additional guidance in regards to this spread for my Aries. Thank you very much. Okay, what we got? Ooh, the hearts in the reverse. This is the lovers in the reverse. So there's definitely an unrequited love situation. I don't think that Aries is giving a shit about this. Um, like, we already recognize that Aries is not putting their energy into people that they realize that don't truly love them. And if God wouldn't have had them surrender to change, you know, and be patient and just take a step back, and being able to look at things from a different vantage point so they can really see people for who they are, you know, they would have kept putting their energy into people and situations of people that really did not see it for them and that really did not love them. You know what I'm saying? And in that way, they weren't loving themselves, you know? So Aries knows that this is an unrequited love, and that's why it says time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Patience, 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 patience. Okay, what is this? What is this? I don't know what this one is. Hold on, y'all. What is this? The moon, the moon, the moon, the moon. The moon in reverse. I feel like um, Aries is a little bit nervous. Is really, 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 really nervous. And I want to say it's almost about to drive them crazy. <laughs> How things, because it's just like the way these blessings are coming into their life like that. Um, <laughs> the way these blessings, and I'm trying to, didn't I tell y'all this energy? It's the super moon, the fucking eclipse or whatever. What is this? The full moon eclipse right next to the super moon. All of this moon energy, like I'm trying to tell y'all. This shit right here is like... Shaking and baking Aries goddamn ass. It's like they don't almost know what to do with themselves. And I really want to say they've never been in a position of power like this. They've never had people to really look at them and believe in them like that. So it's like they're nervous about how they're going to do in this position. Because it's like, man, I just was applying for the supervisor position. Because I know I could do that. Because I was training the supervisors at my old job. You're giving me an apprenticeship to be a fucking architect. Like... I, like, they're nervous. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do not let, like, your nervous energy and them thoughts and stuff like that. Don't let it beat you. Don't let it defeat you. What do you need to release? This, 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 this. You know what I'm saying? You being nervous about it. It says meditate and contemplate right here with this Pisces, um, this new moon in Pisces and this one and moon. What do you need to release? Like re release this nervous energy. God would have not given you this position if he did not think that you were capable of doing it. You understand what I'm saying? And now you're starting to, now you're in this new position and you just like, oh no, like can I really do it? Like shit, my other job thought I was a fuck up and all of this shit like that and uh, what? Oh, here it is. Yeah, my that other job told me I was a fuck up. And it's like, you know, because you are getting more than what you bargained for, than what you applied for, um, you guys are just getting a little bit nervous. And you're going into doubt and stuff like that because all of these people were putting this doubt on you because they doubted you. Baby, don't you do that. Don't you damn do that. Don't you damn do where? Okay. Don't you damn do that. You know what I'm saying? Because these were people that didn't love you anyway. These were people that didn't love you and didn't see it for you. They didn't want you to grow. 
You know, they wanted to keep reminding you of a past that you weren't present in anymore. Don't allow these people mistaking your greatness and overlooking it. Don't allow that shit to get in your head, baby. These people would not have chose you for that. Baby, these people think you're a fucking genius. <laughs> Do you? These people think that you're a fucking genius, babe. Like, they think that you're a fucking genius. And I think that this is the seven of uh, swords in the reverse. You're getting away from all of this shit. You've outsmarted everyone that try to manipulate you because it was really some manipulation because how the fuck are you training your supervisor how to do their job you understand what i'm saying like on some real ass shit like these people were really playing with you really played with you and you got away from this situation and you got away in, in, in a way like, yeah, it might have been fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like you just did a no call, no show, a complete abandonment of the position. Like you just told these niggas, fuck you, fuck you and fuck you. But at the end of the day, like you did the right thing for you. You don't care what these people think. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't care what these people think and you had to do what you had to do for your survival, don't let what people that never seen it for you that didn't believe in you, that ain't do nothing but talk bad about you and stuff. Don't let what these people are saying and what they're doing ruin your advances that you've created and that you've manifested for yourself. Baby, you did this by yourself. You are smart, cunning, and a conniving motherfucker when you need to be. When it comes to survival mode, bitch, you can't tell me what the fuck I can do, okay? Y'all ain't see it for me anyway. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Arriva Dirty, bitch. Okay? Listen, this has been y'all's reading Aries. <laughs> Keep it right there, please. Keep it right there. Y'all did the motherfucker. Shout out to you. K, 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 Y'all bought the cake all the way to the bank. I love you. If this video resonated, listen, I know a lot of people be coming looking for love. I... I'm not really a love reader. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no idea what's ever going to come out on this table. And what comes out on this table is more about finances, career, and life purpose. With a little bit of splash of love in there. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit. Okay, bitch. Whatever God won't give you a little bit of, I'm going to tell you what God got in store for you. So, um... Maybe next time it'll be a little bit more about love and not more about finances and career. But right now, okay, excuse me. But right now for Aries, that is not where their heart is at right now. Their heart is being patient for their blessings because they have, you have three patient cards. Y'all have been patient and God is literally rewarding you for everything that you have done, my rare beautiful unicorn y'all go out there keep kicking ass i love y'all y'all hit that like button y'all hit that subscribe button if your video if this video resonate and y'all want to book a personal private reading go ahead and click that about tab all my information is there share if you care i'm out peace